Today we're taking a first look at the InstaConnect Explorer 5G20 and the Mega Angel Wings rooftop mounted cellular 5G modem and antenna. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on InstaConnect. Now, if you've been watching for a while, we covered the InstaConnect Explorer 4G12 when it came out earlier this year. And it was a, a kind of a unique system intended for the RV market where they put the um, 4G modem, a Category 12 4G modem, on the roof in this unique, uh, what they call the angel wing antenna system. So the modem is up on the roof and then it's connected via a long USB cord to a router inside, a Wi-Fi router and Ethernet router. So you've got your Wi-Fi inside your RV and your cellular on the roof. And the big advantage there is that the antenna cables from the antennas to the modem module are just a few inches long, which means very minimal antenna cable loss. So the modem itself is getting the best possible signal because it's right up there where the signal is coming together. Now, the first version of the Insta Connect was based on a Category 12 uh, 4G modem, which would use 2x2 two two MIMO, so two antennas in this unique design they called the Angel Wings up on the roof. And that was a system, that whole package cost $549. And from the very beginning, they said there was going to be a 5G version of it, and it is just now starting to trickle out into the market. It's called the Insta Connect Explorer 5G20, which is now using what they call the Mega Angel Wings. It looks very, very similar, except now there's four antennas on the roof in this Angel Wing configuration, and a 5G modem module that slides up inside of that cartridge style. And that is a, a, a 5G modem with 4x4 MIMO that when it's in 4G mode runs as a category 20 4G modem. And that goes up on the roof, and this whole package is $9.99. Now, Everything else other than what's on the roof is identical between the systems. So the inside router here, so kind of ruggedized metal router with uh, four Wi-Fi antennas for your local network, uh, four Ethernet ports for your local network, uh, just a basic power supply. They also include a power supply to run directly off of your RV's DC system or plug into AC. And this goes inside, and then you plug in long USB cable, you route it up to your roof, and then you've got your quad angel wings up top. And that is basically the InstaConnect system. They don't um, have a lot of extra fancy features. It's really focused on cellular. It doesn't have Wi-Fi on the roof. It's not designed for long range campground Wi-Fi. It doesn't have the ability to do USB tethering to other hotspots or other cellular devices. It's just basically a router inside and long range, um, high quality cellular outside. And we've been experimenting with it and for, for what it does, it actually does a, a pretty good job and they've done a, some really, really flexible uh, features for controlling the bands that you are connected to, um, even locking into different cellular towers. And now that we've started to test the 5G version, one of the downsides is none of the 5, 5G modem modules seem to work really well with the band locking features, at least just yet. So. Band locking is super important to you, and that flexibility, you might focus on the 4G version. 5G version gives you potentially a lot greater performance. The four antennas could pull in more signal. Uh, one other interesting point about the um, differences between the 4G version and the 5G version is the modem module, the little cartridge that goes into the roof in the 4G version, supports two SIM slots. It's a single modem, so only one of them can be connected at once, but via the Insta Connect user interface, you could easily change between the two carriers or two SIM cards that you've kept up on the roof. So you might have AT&T and Verizon or T-Mobile and Visible or two other you know, carriers that you could just switch between easily. The 5G modem modules that they've you know, discovered this kind of late in the process has two SIM slots, but only one of them is active. And it turns out that that's a hardware limitation. So they've got uh, only just, if you're only can have one SIM installed in the 5G module, they are potentially working on a, now, a different 5G module that will have two SIM slots, but it will be slightly lower performing when in 4G mode. So you'll have this trade-off, and it's kind of unclear whether they'll actually decide to offer that or not, but it is potentially in the works. So they'll either have the 5G CAT20, so CAT20 while in 4G mode, um, 
module that supports a single SIM, or 5G CAT16, so CAT16 when in 4G mode, um, that supports two SIMs. So if two SIMs on the roof is important to you, you don't want to have to climb up a ladder to swap your SIM cards out, uh, keep that in mind. You can talk to uh, the NCD Connect folks to let them know what you're most interested in. And overall, it's kind of an interesting design. Um, we love that this whole NCD Connect project is made by fellow RVers. They're actually kind of running the business um, partially out of their RV and try taking it on the road and testing it out, showing it off. Um, and they really understand the RV market and are kind of focused on that. Now, one other interesting thing about the uh, whole Insta Connect package is this binoculars antenna option that gives you directional long range capabilities. And to talk about that is one of my teammates here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, Andy. Thanks, Chris. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today I'll be talking to you about some of the mounting options as well as the binoculars for the InstaConnect system. So to start off with, uh, this is an additional mount that you can get uh, that's designed for the angel wings antennas that's a permanent mount on the roof. This is an optional option that uh, costs $20 extra when you order the system. Now all three of these, as you see here, can be pole mounted uh, onto a pole, generally an uh, inch and a half to two inch pole is ideal. Uh, it can be attached with really strong zip ties or hose clamps so it can be removed. Um, up here with the, uh, with the binocular system, that will not work with this permanent mount. Because the binocular system is directional, uh, you have to be able to move it and aim it. That can't be done with this mount. So you need to be able to mount it on a pole mount so that you can uh, aim it at the tower. Uh, the binocular system is an extra add-on that costs $249 uh, that you can order with the InstiConnect. If you want to get it, just the binocular system without the uh, Angel Wing system, you get a $50 discount if you don't order the Angel Wing system. However, we really only recommend that if you're going to be at a fixed location because the uh, angel wing system is omnidirectional and for our audience of RVers and cruisers, an omnidirectional system is gonna work better for the most uh, cases. And then you might want the directional system if you need to break out uh, for certain situations to get a higher gain, more uh, better signal with the directional option. Additionally, uh, you there will be a uh, four antenna version for use with the 5G modem. So it will be similar to this except for it, it'll have four directional antennas for 4x4 MIMO. Uh, pricing is not available uh, for that as of yet. So if you do get uh, the directional antenna and you have the angel wings and you want to switch the modem from one to the other, uh, you can just pull the modem sled out, uh, disconnect the antenna cables, and then put the modem sled into the directional uh, unit and then uh, hook the antennas up. It's very easy to switch them back and forth other than the whole climbing on the roof thing. So wrapping up, the InstiConnect Explorer 5G20 is available now. It is just starting to ship in limited quantities to the market to people who pre-ordered in advance and they'll be getting more as parts become available. There's a industry-wide parts shortage on a, a lot of cellular components so it's going to be kind of slow to, to trickle out but We've had ours for about 24 hours now and have been able to test it out and are seeing some significant advantages comparing it to the 4G version versus the 5G. We've connected to T-Mobile 5G, Verizon 5G, and AT&T 5G and seen it actually establish a connection to all of them. So it is proving to be compatible. Now, is it going to be worth the price increase versus the 4G to the 5G? Um, that's... Everybody's going to have to make that decision for themselves, weigh the pros and cons. We're going to be putting this 5G version into ongoing testing, which we'll be sharing with the members of the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So if you are one of our members, uh, follow along. We'll be sharing the ups and downs and uh, um, comparative results to other devices as we experiment with this further. So that's the latest on InstiConnect, a very interesting product. And uh, let's see where it goes from here. These videos are brought to you by our premium members for mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.